This is Seth David, your Dean of Beans with SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you another video answer. This time we're talking about how to fix Ugly Other in QuickBooks. So we're talking about what to do when we get the Ugly Other. And the Ugly Other is what we're talking about when we see this right here. We see car and truck expense, we have some sub accounts, and then we have car and truck expense dash other. And this question came in on our answers form at schoolofbookkeeping.com, which is available to students of schoolofbookkeeping.com from one of our more active members, uh, Kristen Merlo McLam J something something. I don't know. She's got one of those really long names. And uh, it reminds me of Tiffany Amber Theason, who uh, probably spent more time backstage hyphenating her name than she did on the show Saved by the Bell. Anyway, another story for another video. I want to get down to business here because this does come up and it's a question, okay, so how do I fix this? What do I do about it? Because, you know, the, the easy way, of course, would be to double click this other and you get a list of those transactions that are making this up. And in this case, as you can see here, it would be very quick and easy to simply double click each one and change it to one of the sub accounts. And at the same time, if necessary, create the sub account where these should all go. But let's say you had like a hundred transactions here so that it's not practical to do that. Well, there's a couple of solutions. And I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, if you have the accountant edition, then you can use the batch reclass, right? So you go to uh, uh, client data review, reclassify transactions, right? Then it's easy. And that's not the purpose of this video because I'm assuming a lot of the viewers who are watching this don't necessarily have the accountant's edition. So how would you do it? How would you regular old lowly users of QuickBooks you do fix this? I'm kidding, of course, about the lowly part. Um, Here's the fix. Here's what we do. So when we have this, what's happening, and let's go to the chart of accounts, not the item list, and we'll see what this looks like. So coming down to the expenses, here I go. So what happened is the, the expenses that ended up in that ugly other line were coded directly to the parent. So assuming there's so many that you don't want to be bothered, what you can do is you can pull all these out like so right? Auto repairs and maintenance, but then put it back in line there. So it's right there. And I'm just clicking on that diamond and dragging it ever so slightly. And you want to move these one account at a time and then move them right back here. And once you've sort of reordered one, it's easy to do. So now we have all the original accounts, but sort of freestanding. So uh, since those were all, uh, I think they were car washes that I did, then uh, what we'll do is we will edit this account. And we'll call it car wash or something like that. Or oh, it was auto parts, right? So parts and supplies. Let's just say we call it something like that. So we're renaming this account. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the account that's going to become the new parent. This is how we trick QuickBooks. So now we create new expense, right? And you can even look because notice the profit and loss in the background hasn't refreshed yet based on the change. So you can see exactly what we want the new parent account to be. Same as the old parent account, but now this one has no transactions in it. Car slash truck expense, and we click save and close. And now we have to find those accounts where they were in the list, because notice it sticks it up on the top, because the list is sort of uh, out of order for the time being. So there it is. There's auto repairs and maintenance. There's parts and supplies. So now we just move them back in. Move gas in. Move that in. Auto repairs and maintenance. Then down here, account, resort list. Yes, I'm sure. Go to the PL. Problem solved. No more ugly other. That's the easiest way. You just basically manipulate the accounts instead of the transactions, and it's often much faster. Like I said, that assumes that everything that was at the parent level is all the same category. In this example, parts and supplies. And even if it wasn't at this point, you know, you'd, at, at a certain point, you would have to, you know, go in here, maybe sort by name, and then uh, reclass them over. Or if you don't have the accounts edition, find somebody who does, because then they can do this. And I will show it to you after all, since we're here and since we're still under five minutes. But uh, let's say that this was 2015. 2015 expense accounts and what I could do is if uh, I was going into parts and supplies so let's say these two really belonged in repairs and maintenance I can check them off and I can go to repairs and maintenance uh, car truck expense what did we call it auto repairs and maintenance 
and then I can click reclassify. So if you have the accounts edition, this is obviously the way to go because you can check off lots of transactions at once that are all being moved to the same place and then move them in one click. That, my friends, is how you clean up ugly other. I hope this answers your questions. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.